Hello, Mundelein. I'm Eric Schwenk, back with another Mundelein Minute, recapping the Mundelein Village Board meeting held on December 9th, 2019. The meeting kicked off just right on time at 7 p.m., rolled through the attendance, Pledge of Allegiance, and approval of prior meeting minutes rather quickly. The Mundelein Arts Commission was present to announce the winners and present awards for their writing contest. These booklets, um, these booklets include the winning entries, honorable mentions, and winning artwork, and you can pick these up at Village Hall. Under the Mayor's report, there were two proclamations, one for Prevention Day, which is this Thursday, December 12th, and the second recognizing da Diane Count for her upcoming re retirement and honoring her 18 years of service to the Village of Mundelein. The board passed two additional motions, the first for a collective bargaining agreement between the Village and the International Union of Operating Engineers Local 150, and second for an amendment to the employment contract for our village administrator, John Lebedo. Two meeting calls were introduced regarding our TIF districts, and those will be on January 13th at 6.30 and 6.40. Under trustee reports, the board voted to not approve a variance for a sign at Franks for the Memories, denied a variation for commercial parking at 340 Townline Road, approved a special use permit for solar at 1125 Highland Road, and approved a variation for Bark University at 1414 Armour Boulevard. During the Public Works Committee, the board discussed leaf pickup and how best to discuss this moving forward. We'll have to come back to this topic after researching contracts, costs, weather, and following up with group. Expect more in the spring. The Finance Committee was up next and we accepted the Fiscal 2019 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report and paid bills totaling $1,181,562.17. Next up was Public Safety and the Board passed an ordinance amending the Criminal Code addressing the public use of cannabis. Public use will not be legal. There were two items on the omnibus vote list where all items are voted on at once. These include a payment to Henwood Inc. for a grant reimbursement totaling $36,029, and the second for a pass-through payment to Mundelein, High School, I'm sorry, Mundelein School District 75 totaling $33,588.28, and that's a pass-through grant. There were no reports from other committees or staff and no executive session and the meeting was adjourned rather quickly. If you made it this far, I thank you for watching. I hope you find these videos useful and I welcome your comments and your feedback. The next Village Board meeting is January 13th and I hope to see you then. I'm Eric Schwenk. Thanks for watching.